we want to evaluate the given log expressions. Notice how for each log the base is not given, so we know these are common logs, meaning each log is base 10. To help us evaluate these log expressions, we'll form a log equation by setting the expression equal to x, then we'll write the log equation as an exponential equation in order to solve for x. So for our first expression, we have common log, or log base 10, of 1 ten thousandth. And again, we'll set this equal to x. If we can determine the value of x, we'll know the value of the expression. We'll apply the definition of a logarithm now to write the log equation as an exponential equation. Looking at our notes below, these two equations are equivalent, where b is the base, a is the exponent, and n is the number. So notice how the base is 10, so we'd have 10. A logarithm is an exponent, so the exponent is x. So we have 10 to the x equals the number 1 ten thousandth. One way to verify the exponential equation is to start with the base and work around the equal sign to form the exponential equation. Notice 10 raised to the power of x equals 1 ten thousandth. So our exponential equation is correct. In this form, we can solve for x by writing both sides of the equation with the same base. So let's work on writing the right side of the equation with the base of 10. So we have 10 to the x equals 1 over, well, 10,000 is 10 to the fourth. So we can write the right side as 1 over 10 to the fourth. And now I can use a negative exponent to rewrite the right side. If we move 10 to the fourth up to the numerator, it's going to change the sign of the exponent. So we'd have 10 to the x equals 10 to the power of negative 4. Because the expressions are equal and the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal. And now we know x equals negative 4. So because x equals negative 4, we know the log expression equals negative 4. 10 to the power of negative 4 equals 1 ten thousandth. Next we have common log or log base 10 of the cube root of 10. Again, let's set this equal to x to form a log equation, which we'll then write as an exponential equation. But let's write the cube root of 10 using a rational exponent. Because this is the cube root of 10 to the first, we can write this as log base 10 of 10 to the 1 third equals x. And now we'll write the log equation as an exponential equation, where the base is 10, the exponent is x, and it's equal to the number 10 to the 1 third. Again, we have 10 raised to the power of x equals 10 to the 1 third. And here we already have both sides of the equation with base 10. So because these are equal and the bases are the same, we now know x equals 1 third. And again, this should make sense. 10 to the 1 third equals the cube root of 10. For our last expression, we'll form an equation where we have the common log or log base 10 of 0 0.001 equals x. Now we'll write the log equation as an exponential equation where the base is 10, the exponent is x, and this is going to equal the number 0 0.001. But 0 0.001 would be 1 thousandth. So let's write this as 10 to the x equals 1 thousandth. Now I'll write the right side with base 10. So we'll have 10 to the x equals 1 over 10 to the third, which we can write as 10 raised to the power of negative 3 by moving 10 to the third up to the numerator. So we'd have 10 to the x equals 10 to the negative 3. Because these are equal and the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal, and therefore x equals negative 3. Because these are common logs, we can also easily check these on the graphing calculator. So let's go ahead and do that before we go. First we have the common log of 1 ten thousandth, which is negative 4. Next we have the common log of the cube root of 10. For a cube root we press math and then option 4, 10, right arrow, close parenthesis, enter. Now to convert the decimal to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter. One third is correct. 
And then finally we have the common log of 0 0.001, which is negative 3. I hope you found this helpful.